Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to our channel, the Bridge Builders of Diversity. I'm Sherry. I'm a mother of a child with Down syndrome, and this is... I'm Roberta. I'm a special education teacher, and together we are Bridge Builders of Diversity, building bridges of understanding through education and dialogue for the disabled community and our typical friends. Absolutely. Sorry. I'm really excited. Woo! I am so excited. I am so excited. Coda won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Yes, they did. Representation. Representation. Absolutely. It is the it's such a key component to acceptance and inclusion is uh, for people who are different to be able to see themselves represented in media, especially the movies and television mm -hmm. and those things that become the undercurrent of our lives. So to see a deaf family, if you don't know, CODA is everybody's child, child of deaf adults. Right, it's an acronym, acronym meaning child of deaf adults. And I happen to know two magnificent CODAs that go to my school. So it's it's pretty exciting. They must be over the moon seeing them, a family like theirs represented. And my son's actually part of the deaf community. He's hard of hearing and he goes to a deaf school in our local community. So I'm very familiar with the deaf community. It's a very fascinating culture and community. Um, it's, it's really an intriguing culture. And what's even more wonderful is other CODAs are going to see themselves, maybe not exactly depicted in this movie, but they might see similarities and, and feel that sense of, okay, my family's not totally crazy. I'm not the only one that has this experience. And that's why representation is so important. And I think about shows like Sesame Street, and they really get representation right. They know that you, you, you can represent every ethnicity, you can represent every disability or, and, and every life style or every, every exceptionality that you could think of. And it's, it's so important, especially for young children to see themselves in literature and in television and in movies. So I am super excited. And hopefully this is the start of something wonderful. Mm -hmm. I've noticed one thing um, with my son being involved with the deaf community and going to the school, especially the young boys, they love having um, deaf teachers who are male because um, they can really identify with that and they get to see um, a deaf male adult like, you know, being a teacher or the yeah, athletic profession, or they see yeah. a future for themselves represented within yeah. that. Yeah, Again, and it's just something that I, I've seen more with the boys because, as you know, most teachers are females. <laughs> I do know that. I do know that because <laughs> you are I'm one. Going for the ladies' room, and, and <laughs> yeah. so uh, I really see that with the young boys. You know, they have a role model. Um, and seeing somebody who's uh, deaf and the same gender as them and having that role model, um, they, they just really- let's, let's hope that this is the, the start of something. I know that I rant and rave about the movie, The Peanut Butter Falcon, because that's a representation of a young man with Down syndrome. And the, a lot of the focus of that movie was on his hopes and dreams. Mm -hmm. And that's, so for every young man out there with Down syndrome or a young woman with Down syndrome mm -hmm. or young person out there with Down syndrome, you can have hopes and dreams and you can achieve right. them. Um, you know, for every coda, your, your family isn't the weirdest family on the block. And no, I, I know some coda children who are amazing signers. Um, yeah. Well, they, it, it's their... I almost want to say that's their first language. I don't know if they'd argue with me or not. And, and I would I would humbly submit to their, defer to their expertise in the matter. But when you think about a language development in the early years, who's teaching you to speak? 
who's teaching you to communicate? That's your parents. Your parents, you sign, then you are going to be, then sign is really your first language. Well, this is an interesting question for you since you're a special educator. Now, hearing children who are born to deaf adults, um, do they get early intervention for speech and language development? Gosh, I think that they would have to be delayed. If their speech and language development is delayed, then yes. But the the codas that I know, I don't know if they received early intervention because they're older. Um, and they had hearing family around them that spoke verbally rather than sign. Right, so they might have had extended families. I, that... I would say if a child presented, if they ended up in. Use your fingerprints to unlock no. the device. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing is always listening. Yes, it is. If um, if a child is, I'll just sit on it. If a child presents with a delay in speech, yes, they would get referred for early intervention services, mm -hmm. but um, not just because their parents w were deaf. It just. Well, I mean, they're still learning a language, so language development's still happening. So um, I was just curious. There, there if... is a really in, some interesting studies on um, children who are raised in dual language households. Mm -hmm. um, and how it, it doesn't interfere with their language development. In fact, having two languages spoken at home enhances their language development and they have a greater reservoir of language to draw from. Um, the same is, is true for young children who are taught to sign before they speak. Yes. It gives them a, a great basis for communication and a great launching off point for language development. So when you're pairing that, that sign with that, and like every baby learns this one more and more, 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 um, more tickles, more, more carrots, more, more everything. Um, they, uh, that enhances their language development is where I'm going with that. So okay. it's I, just I uh, necessarily, it's a great right. thought though. Right. Well, I know no deaf parents. children who are born to hearing parents, at least in our state, uh, get the early intervention. Yes. Yes. And in, in every state, a child who is not developing typically would receive early. Right. Intervention. But not all states test for um, hearing loss. We mm -hmm. live in a state where. Um, that may be slowly, if it hasn't already, that may be changing. I hope so. Because the yeah the the early um, the earlier you know of a child's hearing loss, the earlier you intervene right. and support that that language and communication development, the better off their outcomes. And that's something that we know. That's why we have the special education laws that we do have that create a place in the public school for children who are three receive and not developing typically. Um, that's why we have early intervention services in all 50 states. So that being said, um, if you're concerned about your child's, how did we go from representation to childhood development? But if you're concerned about your child's development. Um, but, you know, if you suspect your child has any type of hearing loss when they're born, you know, get them tested. Um, Absolutely. And it, consult your pediatrician about, about early intervention services. They will send a team out to evaluate them. Absolutely. And if they, if they are found needing services, then they'll provide them for you. <laughs> so representation, yes. so important. Um, early intervention, so important. Absolutely. We talk about really important things, don't we, Sherry? Yes, we do. <laughs> and if there's something really important that you would like us to look up, yeah, comment down below. We'll be more than happy to research a topic for you. And Please between do. the two of us, we're a wealth of knowledge anyway. That's right. And, and if you like our content, please consider um, subscribing to our channel and liking, comment. 
and smash all the buttons like share surprise subscribe hit those bell notifications and we appreciate you all right guys thank you